welcome to this section of this video please um i want to show you how you can properly create your kdp account without you having that message we call internal error so if you stick to this video till the end i bet you you're going to create your kdp account without having that issue now another thing i want you to note is that please subscribe to this channel if you want to get related content on amazon kdp book publishing everything related to amazon i'm going to start uploading them now so please do well to subscribe now the first thing you have to do is go to your play store we are going to be needing only two applications now the first one is the amazon shopping app so when i search this it must be this exact one please it is not if it's not this one it should be not no other one if you don't have it in your phone you might be saying ah, i don't have the amazon shopping app in my phone or probably you might say it's not supported from your device look for somebody's phone download the amazon shopping app when you're done creating your kdp account you can log in from chrome browser please don't come to my dm and tell me you can it is not you can't download it from your phone i just give you solution so that is the first one you'll be needing the second one is your google authenticator app authenticator app there are so many google authenticator app but at least it must be this one you see this particular one that is the one i want you to download i don't want you to download any other one if you have any other one in your phone please you can you can leave those ones come back and download this one install it i mean Now, this is the Amazon shopping app. I just clicked on it. Most times when you click on your app, I want to quickly say something. How your app is going to respond might be different from mine. What do I mean? Most times when you click on your app, it will just start from there immediately. Your own might not start from here, but if your, your own start from here, click on done. Don't click on anything. Just click on done. It will bring you to this part. Let it load. It will bring you to this particular page. Now, because... We are creating an Amazon KDP account from scratch. Click on new to Amazon.com, create an account. That All right, so I had to quickly switch um device. I had to use my second phone because um after recording the other part, I discovered that Amazon does not allow screen record. Now, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in my name. Please put in your correct details, like your real name. Now, the first mistake you're going to do is to put in your phone number. Do not put your phone number, please. I beg you, use your email. Do not put in your phone number. Use your email, even if it's your personal email. Whichever email you use, use it. Then you create a password. When you're done, you click on verify email. Email. Now, if you put your phone number, it's going to tell you verify phone number. Please don't put in your phone number. I am saying this again. Do not put your phone number. You see this space? Avoid it. Only put your email address. And then you click on verify email. They will, they will send you the email um, OTP to your mail. You put it and then it will take you to the next page I'm going to be showing you. Please, I want to state something. When I was making this particular video, I made it when I went out with my friends and I introduced KDP to them. So while creating the account, I decided to make the video. So in case you, you hear noise in the background, please, I beg you, quickly get a pen and a book. If you write down what you see me touch, I promise you, you'll create your account successfully without having internal error issues. Thank you. All right, so still on your app, after you're done with all those things, you're going to click on that three horizontal line. Look at it, three horizontal line. To this point, you're going to see customer service. Just record from there and I'll talk. Now you're going to see login and security. You click on it, you're going to see password, email, or login. You click on it and then you're going to click on your account setting. When you click on your account setting, the next thing you have to click on is login and security. You're going to see this, so you have to scroll down to where you see two step verification. You click on turn on now. Don't forget, I told you to use Google Authenticator app. So you click on Authenticator app. This digit, look at it. We are going to use this digit, it's 32 in number. This is the digit you're going to copy and take to your Google Authenticator app. So please, I've shown you how to download Google Authenticator app. It must be this particular app, um, app please. This particular app. This one, back. Yes. Then you click on install. Now, when you open your Google Authenticator app, this is how it looks like. So you click on get started. 
now you just continue with your email address the email you have you continue and then you click on this plus icon look at it here click on it then click on enter a setup key and then you put in i showed you a 32 digit code but the first thing just put in any name so i can choose to put in let me say amazon because anytime i want to get otp i should remember that this is amazon otp right now that's 32 digit code i showed you to copy now this is where i'm going to put it and then i'm going to click on add and this is the otp here can you see it now i'm going to long press on this otp once you long press on it you have copied it once you long press on it you have copied can you see that it changed so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to paste that OTP here. I'm going to paste it here. Most times if you allow this page to load up, you might come back having issues. So please make sure you don't let it to load up. Now you are going to see this almost here. It wants to ask you, do you want to require OTP on this browser? Please don't tick it. Click on don't require OTP on this browser. What does this do is that anytime you want to log in from the app, it will not be asking you for OTP from Google Authenticator app. Now you click on. Now the next thing you click on is got it and then you move. So you just click on this and it will bring you to this page. You can see now that your two-factor authenticator, it has been set up and you have successfully created your KDP account. So when you're done, the first thing you have to do is go to your Chrome browser. Hmm. No, All right, so you type kdp.amazon.com. kdp.amazon.com and then you search. So because you have already created an account from the app, the next thing you have to do is click on sign in. Now you put in your email and your password. Now, you're going to get that OTP from Google Authenticator app again. So you come to your Google Authenticator app, you long press, calm down, you long press and you paste it here. And then you sign in. Wow, one time error. So you come back here again. Let me refresh this. Copy and then paste again and this is it so when you try that first one it doesn't work you refresh you notice what i did right i don't know whether you can see clearly but if you pay attention you're going to get it right now i want to beg you with everything you hold very special to you read this amazon policy before you click on agree please read it before you click on agree why because i do not want you to lose your kdp account along the way because it's going to be painful if you lose it with money inside i'm speaking for experience so i'm going to click on agree because i actually know what is here now this is your kdp account and this is how it is looking right now so the next thing you're going to do is i don't know if you can see clearly but if you look up here you will see updates now let me just click on it and show you. Sorry, I'm using another device, but let me zoom in. Now you can see updates now here. So just click on it. It's going to load you up to this particular page. And everything that is here, you have to fill it accordingly and use your correct details. For example, if, okay, if you are in Ghana, for example, please, let's start now this is it what kind of business is it choose individual so you just click on individual now this date of birth i want you to click on this one here can you see this calendar icon just click on it so if for example i just want to put it but please note that you must be 18 and above so if you're not up to 18 please get someone's detail that is above 18 and use from 18 and above so if for example let's say i want to work with Mm, so that you will not know my age. So they gave birth to me 2010, August 1st. Thank you. That's my birth month. <laughs> All right. Uh, you see, I'm not up to 18. I'm pretty sure they gave birth to me in the 80s. So let me look for 
you guys know that i'm actually not a small girl right so you guys should respect me thank you all right so this is it 1977 huh. all right so now your country if you're in ghana please come over here where do you live you just see this place now put ghana it will come out this way click on it don't type it you see it you click on it if you are in cameroon you do the same cameroon you do the same now because i'm in nigeria please i'm doing this for the sake of my ghana and cameroon students so that they don't feel i'm only attending to nigerian students now for you in nigeria you click you type nigeria it will come out like this and then you click on it now for my students that are in us as usual you do the same i'm i might not call of you but please your country just type it and it will show so let me work with nigeria now your legal name is your real name my name is Sunday Amarachi. That is your legal name, please. So I'll just put that. Now your address, please. It should be your correct details, please. Just put something. Your home address or street address, you just put it. Now this address line too is optional. The city I'm in, just my state, Plateau State. Now this poster code, you might be asking, how do I do this one? You simply come over to your, your any part, any of your browser or just your, um, your Google and type poster code. If you're in Lagos, put poster code. You see this one is poster code just, it just pop up. I can pick anyone. Now, if you're in Lagos, you put poster code in Lagos. The particular place where you are in Lagos, you can just put it probably, for example, if you are in Ikoi, you just choose it that way. Now, for those of you in Cameroon, you agree with me that you do not have poster codes. So I would just advise you just picking any code here and putting it. It's actually not that important, but just put it. For those of you in Cameroon, Ghana, I do not, I do not have an idea because I've not tried creating an account for a Ghanaian. So I don't know, but I think you can also Google that. So I will just put in, because I actually have my poster code offered, I'm just going to put that. <laughs> So you put in your postal code. So for me now, I know my own 930105. So I'll put that your phone number. Now this is the format by which you're going to put your phone number. For those of you in Ghana, plus 223, then you put in your number, right? Cameroon, plus 2, plus 237, like that, US plus 1. You know, you put it like that. So for Nigerians, you do this way. I'm just using this, please. I've not put in everything. All right, so you are going to see um, add a you just come here and now check the description work. of this video. I'm going to drop a link on how now, to Now, most times you might tell me it's not saving. Sometimes you might come here and tell me show you country unsupported. Please ignore whatever message you see here. Please check the Telegram. Thank you.